we know what's going to happen as climate change gets worse. People reluctantly are going to have to leave their homes and they're going to go elsewhere. They're going to migrate. And we know what the consequence of that will be because we see it around us every day. It's not a pretty picture. Climate refugee is someone who's moving away from the coast, decided to pick up and leave because they've seen too many floods and their home has been wiped out. A climate refugee is a farmer in a country where it's gotten too hot and too dry and they can't subsist anymore and they have to move to the city. A climate refugee is someone who got caught in a wildfire and their home burnt up and now they have to go and find a totally new place to live. A lot of times these people are moving not just within the, their country but across international boundaries and that creates situations that really have to be focused on by governments because they can really get out of control. My father was an immigrant. He was running away from the Nazis. Half his family, his extended family, didn't make it and they were murdered. I, I grew up in an atmosphere where those who did survive were my family. And so that immigrant experience, the flavor of having been transplanted from one place to another involuntarily, the experience of having to make a new life and a new country, that's something I understand at a very fundamental level. So I personally am very sympathetic to immigrants and to the right to migrate under circumstances, especially where you're being pushed out, where you're a refugee. So it's possible by later in the century that there could be tens of millions of people displaced from their homes because of climate change. Some of those people are going to move 25 or 50 miles. Some of them are going to move within their own country a few hundred miles. Many of them are going to go from countryside to city, but a lot of them are also going to go across international borders. Governments have to think about this in advance. The answer is not to prevent people from migrating. The answer is to make it easier for people to stay where they are because that's what they want to do. They don't really want to move. The only thing I can think of to help the situation is to reduce climate change enough so that that risk of a lot of people moving in a lot of places at the same time is reduced significantly. So the point about this is that governments should be planning how they would handle migration from certain well-known climate hotspots in the anticipation that as the climate change gets bad, people under certain circumstances are going to want to move. We should still always remember people don't want to move if they can help it. They're mostly being forced to move under these circumstances by a bad climate situation. And what we should do is make it easier for them to stay. That means reducing the climate change and also making the situation where they are more bearable. Mm -hmm.